You guys hear me whistle? Do you guys hear me whistle? Whistle, whistle, whistle. Whistle, whistle, whistle. All the whistles to me. Hello? <laughs> Why am I whistling? Whistling, 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 whistling. Is working. That's good. Star Trek. The camera is working. Maybe. Hopefully. Could be. Hello, Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek. -o. Hello, amazing. How are you? Where the hell? Star Trek, close, and go, yeah, there. <laughs> Louise, hello, hello, greetings, welcome, welcome everybody, so good to see you all. What? What major? What? 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 What is the double TF for? What? What? You come here, you double TF. What? What? Tell me. Okay, so what, what is my uh, what is what is my voice now? <laughs> is it better? Is it good? Is it better? Is it worse? Tell me, tell me, give me some feedback. Better, better, but it could be better. Do we want more volume? All right, let's raise the volume a little bit. Okay, how about now? Is it now better? I think it's better. Voice is good. Alrighty. This is what happens when you don't do this in a while. Dude, major, major, you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna take it out on me, right? I mean I did post on uh, on uh, on Discord that two things. Two things are happening right now. Yes, one is them. <coughs> <coughs> 
One, you are right. Um, no, 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 no. It's 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 not your fault. It's not your fault. Definitely not. Two things. Two things are happening. One, I'm I'm uh, I was very sick, and I still am sick um, because um, I had I don't know what it was. I think it's just the flu. But uh, something up here in my throat was killing me. I couldn't swallow. I couldn't drink. It was like really, really nasty. And that's been going on for two weeks. Um, and all of a sudden, I had, you know, I had symptoms like the flu. I, I don't think it was Corona or anything like that. I had symptoms like <laughs> it was the flu. So I was in my bed um, every day that I was I was sleeping. I had like cold shivers. Um, I had that till December until mid January. Had it for seven weeks. And kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing. Had it for like three four weeks. Uh, still not better. It's it's still like here at the bottom of my my throat. Something. It's like not really. You know. It's it's kind of dry up there. Um. um like I said, I don't think it was Corona or anything like that. Um, I think it was just the flu because I really haven't been in contact with anybody. Uh, cough, chills, and no appetite. No, appetite was there. Um, but I usually eat like once a day, to be honest. I just do a lot of like, you know, candies and stuff like that in between. But when it comes to like meals and stuff like that, it was just once once a day. That I that I just you know sit down and eat, but um, chills as you say, um, spikes of high temperature and like your whole body is sweating, and then like you know, you're like oh my god, I uh, it's like in a sauna. That's how you know how how uh, bad it was, and then all of a sudden for 15 minutes you're like you know really 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 like you know cold and, and shivering and, and like I need like 50 more blankets um, and on top of that let me let me show you this but hopefully hopefully uh, the technical difficulties are gone because I'm glad you're feeling better my brother I I I'm much better than I than I was uh, not yet fully like you know a hundred percent as as, a, as they say not yet back to where I uh, where I normally am at but 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 uh, and let me let me give you guys a little bit of a hint do you do you see anything different here? I've never been 100% true. <laughs> true. True that. True that. Thank you for that. Um, okay, so I was rocking the old mic, uh, but now I'm kind of like rocking a new mic. It's upside down. So this thing right here um, had this thing on my you know list like a very very long time and uh finally like uh three weeks ago or something like that it's uh i actually bought this thing um and it's kind of like i don't know because i'm testing it out and i kind of need to um need to watch my own live stream to see how good it sounds but hopefully it's going to be a little bit better than what you guys normally are accustomed to uh hearing uh boil seven ish huh seven boil seven fresh ginger two cloves 
two bay leaves, three bottle water, add honey, taste good, caffeine. Um, that sounds really, really good. I'm definitely going to write that down. I do love ginger though, because ginger is all I drink. Uh, can you actually see this? Yeah, right here on my finger. Ginger ale. This is all that I drink because because I I definitely love the the, the the taste of it. Um, seven to nine inches. Um, yeah, I know I know what you mean. I I usually take the the the, the peeling off of the ginger and then just chop it off. But but yeah. I, I, I definitely love the, the, the ginger part. But um honestly, honestly, give me give me a little bit of feedback. Um is the voice a little bit better than what you normally are accustomed to? Or at least the, the sound quality than um than what you normally are accustomed to on the on the live stream because it did cost me a few bucks to buy this thing. And I just want to have a little bit of like, yeah, I did some, you know, really good thing. The voice is not fantastic. Are you, you're, are you lying now? Are you lying? Are you lying to me? Don't lie to me. Whenever, whenever you're nice, it's like there's something wrong right there. There's that, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. <laughs> No, it sounds really good. Okay, good, good. If you're honest, then then um, honestly, this has been this is the best mic out there that you can get, uh, either for for podcasts, live streams, interviews, all that. Vocals, if you're actually, <coughs> even if you actually are, you know, singing or or having like a music instrument and making videos or making music. Sorry. Um, this is actually the go-to mic, uh, and it's around 380, I think, euros, like close to 400-ish. Um, how about this? Except for the graphic just woke up. It sounds great. Okay, okay. It's, I, I believe you. I, I'm going to rewatch the video and see uh, what you actually, uh, or at least how it's compared to the other mic i still have the other mic so if it doesn't work the way it should be in in terms of like quality of the of the voice and then we can uh, i don't think i can bring it back because it's already past uh, the warranty past the 30 day uh, mark uh but um we'll do some adjustments and if it's if it doesn't then you know sounds like a studio voice now yes that's that's what i'm actually going for to be honest um, but anyway, that's me. Been sick, been, been, been crazy. Um, cold shivers. There is something that we can, uh, we can do in terms of like, you know, like you guys are suggesting, uh, and stuff like that. There is like, I've been, I've been eating a lot of like, you know, chicken soup and, and stuff like that to, to mediate a little bit on my own. Um, it works a lot of like you know good herbs definitely work but the issue is right now is that i've kind of infected my mom <laughs> and she's a little bit older than i am and um she's you know she's she's definitely getting better uh but it takes much longer than than normally uh with with elderly people um so i kind of need to have a little bit of a closer look on my on my mom as well i don't know where i left off let me see now the solenade we can't actually complete because it's the thingy uh dragon's descent that we're gonna do turbo negotiator we got that Oh yeah, uh, Admiralty. Okay, so we're gonna do beams the whole time. Beams and two times in progress. And Admiralty. Congratulations, Admiral. So we got 
what are we going? Federation and Ferengi. Uh, what is going to give me the highest? This one. Okay, that's good enough. Three, six, eight. Alright, let's put one more in here. Just to have a little bit more critical outcome. Oh, we can actually do more? How many slots do we have? Three, okay. So Ferengi is a little bit more to my liking because it's gonna give me a dilithium in return. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and begin. Okay. So that one is gone. This one is gone. Um, we got this. I forgot what does this do? Bridge officer recharge. Okay. We don't need that. Um, reunion. Do we need? Yeah, the. We kind of need to uh, start reunion. We kind of need to go through everything. So let's begin reunion. How long before you lock your Chongo Yung? <laughs> I actually went on a trip today, actually. We went to uh, uh, an hour drive. We actually had competition today. And we're going to have competition tomorrow, which is also good. I'm going to bring you guys with me. Hopefully I can record there. Hopefully they're not going to be like really, you know, as they say, tight as is about it. Um, and we can actually have a little bit of... Um, or at least you guys can, can, can watch me play pool a little bit. Which is... Oh, which is, which is something that I wanted to talk Voyager to you guys about. Voyager is under attack by the Kazon. So, Engines are offline, requesting assistance. Tuvok, hold on a second. I'm, I'm, I'm actually... Okay, so I have this thing that I never... <clears throat> So I have these, or at least I bought these. Um, these are individual mics that you can have for for your recording. It's from DJI. This is kind of like the best thing out there. You guys might have heard like the DJI drones and stuff like that. So this is like their, their top of the line um, mics. When you're going to do like, you know, um, vlogging or interviews, this is these are like the best... Um, mics out there and and the funny thing is about these things is they have like a clipper on the on the back side so you can actually attach them like you know here and stuff like that like like what i'm gonna do now maybe on this side it's a little bit better for you guys to see so you clip them here so it's here you can't see it you just you know it's there so you can talk to it in here but the funny thing is and that's why i'm, I'm actually bringing it up is there's like there's like I have like two of them, right? Because they this is like the the microphone, um, and there is like these are there are two microphones right here. These are the microphones, and there is like a receiver in here. So the other day when I was doing the live stream on when I was playing pool, I was like, okay, so the camera is like way over there, 
Okay, let me put the game on a little bit. So the camera is like way, way over there, and I'm actually playing here on on the table that is like you know real close to me because I needed to play. But the camera is like really far away, and you guys couldn't hear me or you know giving comments or or anything like that. So I'm thinking if I have the microphone, I have can link up the transmitter with my camera or at least my phone and have that as an input output kind of thing so whenever i'm going to be talking you guys are going to hear it right away isn't is is that better or is that worse as as thank you for your ideas. assistance this base is populated by talaxians my shipmate oh, no, from voyager neelix, neelix. join them before they move to this location the talaxians oh, have been looking for a new home world for quite some time and now they have found one totally forgot about this mission um but i'm the going alliance's on. history with the relocation of the romulans will be invaluable in this process a romulan ship how interesting i've never I'm seen gonna try a romulan to ship before that. i've heard about them of course and once my friend the doctor was even in a battle with the romulans and there was that Maybe time that a romulan scientist visited our ship he well, listen to me rambling mm -hmm. on i'm my name is Neelix, and I serve as Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta oh. Quadrant. B before that, I spent seven years on the USS Voyager with Captain Catherine Janeway. Um, perhaps you've heard of me. Mm -hmm. I think I've heard something. Doesn't ring a bell. Ah, no matter. I've always been curious about the Romulan people from what I read on Voyager's database. See, m my link to the Alpha Quadrant wasn't mm -hmm. as strong as I wanted it to be until the Janolan Dyson Sphere opened a path straight to the Delta Quadrant. Now. We get all sorts of news, and I'm so glad to hear that this might be interesting. unpleasantness between the Empire and the Federation is over. I think I'm planning a trip to Earth sometime to sample the cuisine, but that will have to wait until after the colonization. I, I barely have a minute to myself anymore. There's so much to do. Uh. Oh, you've come to help. How wonderful. It's nice to know Romulans are just as helpful to people in need as my good friends at Starfleet. Of I course, the one Romulan I met during my Lewis. time on Voyager tried his best to help the crew, even if we were a few years out of yeah. temporal alignment. Oh, where are my manners? You, know you what's, must be what's tired funny? and thirsty uh, after your long you journey. The, uh... Come to the colony. We'll fix you right up. But, but, but if I could impose on you just for a small favor first... The case on Nistrum have been giving us a lot of oh, trouble lately. Like We've constructed some space. shield generators to protect the base. Colonization. Could you reactivate the shields for us? Sure. Wonderful! Just Everything, fire the generators and start the relaunch sequence. It will take them a few minutes to get up to full strength, but that shouldn't be a problem. After that, beam down to the colony. I'll start making some nicely old root stew for you. All right, um, let's talk to and do whatever this guy wants. That's much better. Uh, okay. Go, go, go. Look at this thing. I've never seen this thing in my life. Have you guys seen this? It's a beautiful satellite. And there are three more of them. Don't need this too. I got proved. <laughs> Major, honestly, how have you been, man? It's been a long time that we haven't uh, we haven't talked or spoken at all. Uh, where's the thing? It's above. It's been a while and I've been rather busy with things in general. Uh, okay. 
If everything is good, then, uh... Thank you so much. Alright, let's move down, because this guy's gonna talk much, much, much more. <coughs> it's so good to meet you in person. View screens are Can't so impersonal, don't you Can't think? Kenji's always here. May I shake your hand? I if memory serves, covers. that's how. Mr. Vulcan? Is that you, Tuvok? Mr. Vulcan! Indeed. It is agreeable to see you again, Neelix. What a wonderful surprise! C come, my friends, we have so much to discuss. Everything is okay. I broke a tooth this week, but it's okay. I'm everywhere. You know. <laughs> I know. I know. You are. Um... You look well, Neelix. You are always behind pillars, Kenji. I've, I've, I've As seen do you. you. Family, children. Being here has changed me for the better. Come on, man, hurry up. Indeed. This colony is an improvement on your previous home. <laughs> Twice as large and completely updated. You should see the kitchen. Yeah, it has a nice stove. I'm a patrol but you still seek a new home world. Of course, children need sun and open skies, a place to put down roots. What was that? Something exploded. Uh, the case management as soon as transported down, we drove them out, but they got quick shot in the base before they left. Sensors are showing structural damage to the operation bay. The operations bay? Dexter was <coughs> in there! <coughs> I just said that. The operations bay. <clears throat> uh, where's the... here. Oh no! Dead people. I see the dead people. is trapped please do something shall i phaser her no i'm just gonna transport her out of there jex is a little dizzy but she'll be fine i i have to stay with her though i'm afraid i must impose on your kindness again Several of our systems were damaged in the attack, and I can't help fix them just now. Several of our right, systems are malfunctioning. Our communications, environmental controls, engineering, and the controls for the crane loading our ships all have been damaged. All of them have been damaged? Oh my god, I'm a captain, not an engineer. Let's give it a go. Uh, fix consoles. Okay. Did that work? Okay. That worked. Captain of losing keys. Oh, electricity. Is that going to hit me? No. Ah. The reroute, replace, alter, alter. Nope, that didn't work. Then how do I know? I don't know. I just got a red thing here, right here. Like, red state. They didn't give me any, uh... Any instructions, like, yeah, you need to do stuff. But if you do it, we're going to give you, like, a really red thing. Red objective state. Uh, 
He told you which part to fix in order. I didn't. I didn't hear. Or I didn't read it. Do it again. I'm a captain. I just go bluey bluey stuff. Ah, oh, come on, man. I could have made that. Look at me. I'm repairing cranes now. Jesus. Can I jump on that? I can. I can. I can. There's one thing more that needs fixing, but it's not showing on my map. <coughs> Dirt's hello, hello. What's happening, my man? How's life? How's life treating you? Are you sick as well? Can somebody clean these guys up? They're like facing down, that's not good. Here. What? There's nothing I can do here. Uh, hello? What do I need to do now? Talk to Neelix? No, it's not Nelix, it's that fat Nelix. There is Nelix. Legs, what do I do? I still need one damage equipment. Use Google Maps. Do I need to fix the crane again? Is the crane broken? Did it break down? I did do the crane. The crane is good. <laughs> the crane was here. I fixed it and it's gone. It's not showing on my map. Take the lift downstairs. What lift? There's a lift? Aha! They never told me this. Oh man, what is this? After the input frequency until it reaches the optimum level. I feel like a monkey that's just pushing buttons. Ooh, we got holograms of a piece of rock.
After like me made a billion also little little thing as well. Thank you I so much. No Everything seems everything to be working special. properly now, and Dex is feeling much better. I need to take one final lap around the base and speak to a few people before we depart. <laughs> Would you care to accompany me? Oh my god. Do I have to? Honestly, Neelix, seriously? Let's talk to your... What did I say this is? This guy says? Oh, hello! hello. I'm preparing hello. the most wonderful feast to celebrate the colonization Enjoy of our new friend. home world. And we need to yeah. gather spices for the Talaxian spice stew. I'll need Rangonzo, Spith Basil, Prishik, and some Nimian sea salt. I'm sure if you ask around, someone will have them. Uh, Isn't Chef Jolax great? He's a good no. friend, and his falada onion crisp is superb. We're traders. A lot of people have I haven't spices. seen anyone like but you around. I bet hey, Alex, what? Brexa, Wixen, and Maxon can help. Maxon sure. likes his food spicy. I once saw him add amber spice to paraca wings. Talaxians are a warm and generous people. So, I honestly think that having this, this... Hello. Alex is like a mother to all the children here. She always has a bit of candy in her pockets for them. Having this, 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 this base, this, this asteroid or whatever this thing is, and just using it for like maybe a mission or two, I think they could utilize it a little bit. Better. Ah, yeah, help! All I have now, Wixen. He's a reliable guy. You might even say he's the uh, Nimian salt of the earth. <laughs> Nimian salt. Huh? Oh, thank you so much. I'll save you a, a bit bowl. of spice. Yes, yes. Uh... With what resources of death of jump ship? Really? There's nobody there anymore? Everybody's gone? I need to scan the root by adjusting the sensor array's pitch up and down and yaw left and right. You can point the array at the target. By adjusting the force, you can change the distance the array examines. Uh, be sure not to overshoot the target location. Uh, did, she just, did she just say use the force? Oh my god. Adjust the pitch object because we're going to track it must be one kilometer for safe travels. Distance from position. Alright. Uh, never overshoot you. Oh, wait. Was optimal. What about this? Three, two, three, six, three. Here's the force. Use the force! I can't thank you enough for your help. Dex is going to be fine. The doctor says she'll be up and around in no time. I need to return to Voyager. Please escort the Talaxian fleet to New Talix. We can return to Voyager at your earliest convenience. The Talaxian. Let's go. Get me out of this mission. What are you saying? Even with the Talaxian KDF engineer outsmart Scooter. Sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Scooter is not to be uh, smart, as you say. She's more like, you know, letting other people work. She's more managerial, like, do this, do that. She's more of a captain. Where do we go? Up, down, where's Duvak? Duvak is down there. Do 
transport the guy. Thank you for all you have done for the Talaxians. I believe that they will be a valuable ally to us in the days ahead. No, that would not have been die. possible Most without your assistance. I am confident we will see one another again. Until then, live long and prosper. Our ships are ready to depart. Travel to the staging area to join us in our new adventure. All right, let's go. Staging area. There. Maybe the ships are. It's not the staging area. Are those those are ships, right? Are you those ready to depart ships. for New Talax? Yes, let's go. There was a countdown. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody's warping. Uh, detecting me kicks the lab. I'm detecting extremely high radiation level in the system, too high for the normal dispersal pattern. Now in Vegas. Are you detecting the theta radiation spikes? Yes, those levels just have been normal and steady for weeks now. What could have happened? I have no idea. Let's look it up. Investigate systems. Scan the radiation. There's no radiation here. Uh, do you have any idea who could do this? Theta radiation could mean only one thing. The Malon. Malon. They lack the technology to recycle antimatter waste, which has led them to develop an entire industry around dumping Theta radiation in various areas. We can't survive on new Talax if the Malon are going to use it as their personal garbage dump. Kari, did you see the consequence of um, locking keys back to the cars and forcing the... Mural, mural, they both like it. Uh oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Are these the guys that are gonna that I have to kill? That I have to shoot down? Unknown vessel. This site is claimed by the Malon. Go find your own dump site. <laughs> the Lexian claims this system. You need to find a place to dump your waste. Why? I was here first. Besides, there's a neutron star near here that makes this the perfect location for our needs. Finding another would be too expensive. Tell the Talaxians to find another planet. Okay. Let's give me the last chance. Leave now or I will... Make you leave. Mm, mail on code communication. <laughs> Let's do some combat. Let's stop the mother. My hungry pets. Wait, we just disabled the guy. Factory. Cruiser and a mail on frigate. Thank you, thank you for asking. How have you been? Did you guys miss me a little bit? Is the music a little bit too loud? And I don't mean music, I mean kind of does a little bit to the neighbors. Okay, I think that's better. Um, but yeah, I've been sicky. Um, been sick for like two weeks, two and a half, three weeks, and do it much better. Much better than I thought. 
Today, let's do a little bit of streaming and help you guys out a little bit. And by that, I mean that you guys can have a little bit of like. A little bit of gameplay. Not good gameplay, because I'm definitely not good at this game. We really have to stand this that long, long, long time ago. But just a little bit of that. Just a little bit of laugh. So you guys can uh, talk a little bit about SEO. Talk to me about it. Hail Enough. the mail on vessel. You've ruined me. Wrecked my ship. At least spare my life. <laughs> Find another place to dump your trash. Okay. The Malon are gone, but the radiation is still around. Ah, we can oh, fix what that. can we do? This would have been a perfect homeworld. But we can't live here if the radiation is going to infect the entire planet. Uh, we can remove the radiation, just give us a moment. Of course. Of course. Clean up radiations, that's what we do. Non regenerators. Ah, Neelix, what do I what what I uh, do for you? Shouldn't there be like a cloud or something? There is no visual indication where their uh, the radiation is. It's just it's just in my map. I think for new players, it's gonna be like, hey, what's where's the radiation? I can't see the radiation, so the radiation is not here. And there is something in my uh, my eye. Where am I? Uh, my left eye, I should say. It's kind of making my eyes tear. Tear from the inside out. Okay. We got more, more radiation to clean up. Okay, Neelix. Thank you so much for all of your help. You are a true friend to me and to the Talaxian people. Your crew will always be welcome on New Talax. And good luck in your voyages. I hope to see you again soon. You will see me very soon, Neelix. In the next mission. Oh, that could be it. So, today, we actually played our... Wait, hold on a second. Let me just see if we can... There's absolutely nothing that we want here. Okay, let's grab that. Um, the competition that I played today, or the, the league... Um, it was... It's been more than 30 years since Voyager passed yeah. through this region of space. But the echoes of what Captain Janeway and her crew did linger. Linger. We need to reestablish relationships here. I'm assigning you a region of space to patrol. Meet the locals and find out how things stand in the Delta Quadrant today. So, as I was saying, the, um... Dragon's Descent, so these are all missions that I need to do. But it's perfectly fine. So these are patrol missions. I got it. No, patrol missions. But uh, the competition where we played today, and we started at twelve o'clock, which is which is normally we started at one o'clock. Uh, we were a little bit late, so at twelve o'clock they started. We as soon as we entered the 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 building, they were like, "Come on, let's play," because you guys are late. And we were like, "Okay," but at the the location and this is probably my why my eyes are a little bit like you know hurting on the on the on the inside is the the location used to be a pool hall so pool as in a swimming pool hall so lots of chlorine everywhere or at least the scent was still there and from a pool hall, they actually made a pool hall, so you can actually play pool uh, on the pool tables and, and stuff like that. But it's kind of like hurting my eyes a little bit, and, and now it just ring a bell, like, hey, that was actually a pool hall where we went today. And it's it's a little bit of like an hour drive from uh, from Amsterdam. Uh, it's called Ozebi. 
it's kind of like a um, they have like laser games they have like table tennis there they have lots of stuff our gun is on this side let's go um, it was it was definitely interesting but but it's kind of like whenever you're like you know you, you go out in indoor pool swimming uh, and, and you have like like that chlorine stuff that's like aggravating your uh, uh, your your eyes that's kind of what I have right now like like I've just been swimming Just fine. It's 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 fine. Some things that are still in the game. You have entered an area control. You are now my... Looks like our fight got them to notice us. Let's go over and ask if their boss might come out of hiding. I'm gonna do you guys with this. So strange. Here. Lodges. Are you gonna get some lodges out of that? No? Oh yes, we do. We jump. Oh, we just came to close down the rift. Keep concentrating fire on individual ships. Separate them and whittle down their numbers. Mm. You know what's funny? Go quietly. Um, one of you guys. Well, at least I think is a subscriber. He was watching one of my older videos that I have on, on, on YouTube. And I was doing shield reviews and shield visual displays on. And in the comments, he wrote down like, "This is the best ship review that I've ever seen in a very, very long time." It was from a older uh, ship to be honest. It wasn't anything new. It could have been like a couple of years ago. Maybe to him it was good. And he said that this is the best ship you that I've ever seen in the world. You will stand down and surrender to the method guard. Which is, to me, it's Sensors funny because at least for you, I haven't done any ship reviews. It's kind of got me thinking like. Even those, those very old ships uh, videos that I did, where I just played like in the shield. Took it in, in, in our Gala Patrol, those are the mission that we're doing right now. Um, even then, I mean, even now, people are still looking at those, those videos of mine that I did like really, really long time ago. Hey, my home needs a little bit of love. Okay, let's take a look at that. Come on, would you die a little bit already? We do Thank what you. we want, where we want. And this kind of does feel like a ship to me. I have been doing the same mission over and over and over with you guys. Displaying how the ship. Uh, the ship. Uh, flies, uh, candy, uh, base amount of you know, weapons and stuff like that. But I just found it hilarious. I found it hilarious. Or at least I found, I found it funny enough that I was like, <laughs> seriously? In, 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 in a while, if you haven't seen people do it like up a tight beam transmission on a new frequency. We're jamming that spectrum of their comms now, but it was probably a call for but assistance. It's, honestly, it's 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 always 
it's always interesting to see um, what you guys write down in the, in the comment section of the videos. And like, I think I have like a maybe like a thousand videos or something that I made from the who have the uh, the lifespan lifespan of the of the channel and um, all of a sudden you get like a notification right on uh, on my mail or uh, Warning. Ship is under attack. on YouTube itself there's like a notification that this comment has been made for this video and honestly honestly it's um, I sometimes need to think like what was this you know this video about one uh, what does it actually mean what is what was the, the intent that this person uh, made the comment about maybe they made a comment because they wanted to be you know to, to, to be a uh, to have an interaction with me, to ask a question, to, 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 to have something or whatever. Um, or is it like, you know, something genuine that he's asking or that he doesn't know or he found the video interesting or, you know, whatever is the context of that comment. And it's, it's sometimes it's like, yeah, you really have to think like two times, three times, four times maybe. Maybe rewatch the video, like, hey, what was I thinking, or what was I, you know, saying in this video? What was the, uh, uh, the comment that uh, that this particular person said that I addressed this in the video? And I, uh, do I have an understanding of what this guy is asking, or person is asking? Especially when you made like you know, close to a thousand videos, you have no idea. Like all of a sudden you get like a and you just okay. This comment. Uh, Excellent work. We'll send over a pacification party. Take the suspect into custody. What the hell is this? Thank you for your assistance. Hold on. There have been we have the suspect in custody now, and we also apprehended a fair number of his associates. So this Sparta is space uh, will be safer without their influence. I'm dispatching medics to treat any wounded so they can stand points. trial, and an engineering team to ensure his ship is stable Multiple so we can tow it back to Experience, base. Experience, dilithium, we have and it from here. daily patrol bonus. Uh, okay. Is this something that's always been here? Or am I just looking at this thing for the first time? I am Curse of Borg, live as you know it was all over prepared to do something. Typing is... You know. <laughs> Curse, has this been always been here? Those missions? Or am I just... And there is... Oh! What is that? Mission cannot be replayed. Okay, so that was one type mission then. Uh, uh, a Federation starship on a research mission for the Alliance, the USS Callisto, has sent out a general distress signal. Intelligence needs you to find them. If they were preyed upon by one of the more aggressive species here in the Delta Quadrant, we need to know who it was. And if they stumbled onto something one of those species didn't want us to find, do you like the new voice? well then it's even more imperative we find that ship and its crew. I finally, eh, finally got a better microphone. <gasps> the, the cluster torpedo, I'm on that. Go, cool. transport. Major County is sending me the 
the voice right now is much better or the quality of the voice quality of my voice oh my god i cannot even speak normally today <clears throat> I'm tearing up. Apply for TikTok streaming access. What? I don't want any streaming access. Outpost. Revelations. We are alive the location of the Zeskol of the USS Callisto. We are no longer receiving a distress beacon, but sensors are picking up the breeze consistent with a Luna class Federation starship. There might be survivors. Scan for survivors. Who did this? Who killed the Callisto? I overshot. I overshot my. Uh, hey, there's a beacon over there. My scan target area. No luck. Sensors are reading any life something in the wreckage. There's a good complement of 350. This is 7 of 9, part of a Federation oh research team assigned to the USS Callisto. My team and I were investigating this outpost when the defense systems activated and destroyed the ship. She looks horrible. She absolutely looks horrible. Does that even look like seven of nine to you guys? Honestly. Does that even... Uh, we respond as soon as we could. Normally it would be quick to respond. Federation distress call. I am aware of your one. service record. Thank you for responding to our request for assistance. She looks horrible. I was able to deactivate the outpost defenses, but the system sent out an automated distress signal That's upon shutdown. That's all I can say. She looks it horrible. It is logical to assume that someone will be arriving to investigate. Please transport my team and me to your ship. I will be of more assistance to you there. Okay, what do I say? Uh, I'm aware of several again. Yeah, I will be able to detect the outpost defense system with automated distress upon shutting down. Logic is would assume that someone will arrive and investigate. Please transport my team to the Chukotok. Cock Chukok. Mm. I hope the call will bring a worthy foes. Alright, we got my pets are out, that's good. Now let's kill people. And I'm actually going to eat one of these things. I would offer you one, but you are... Not here. Long range sensors are picking up inbound energy signatures. Voth ships. Voth? They must lay claim to this system. Voth, you see. <laughs> Attention trespassing endotherms. You are trespassing in Voth aligned space. Surrender now, and we will allow you to live out the remainder of your lives on a prison world. Hmm. Nowhere. Oh, 
long time we've been asking for that walk extra suit. Finally, I can hear the walk to the gate. Okay, I need you to take this thing out because I'm going to be able to Hey, 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 what is happening here with my home? I honestly need like a keybind just for a uh, whole healing. Or a shield healing, something like that. Like, I have a sh yeah. I have a button for um, to do like damage, like a DPS rotation and everything that goes in um, everything that has, you know, offensive abilities goes there. But I also need like defensive abilities. George, how are you? This guy's 100% already again? No, man, I'm just shenanigans. Alright. Let's take him down. Let's take him down. Let's get a buff. This is another buff. Let's use his technology against them. Okay, he's at 44, I'm at 47. Is that a fair fight? I think so. I'm at 37, he's at 30. Still a fair fight. Ah, they killed me. Okay, I'm donating. Let us concentrate on killing this guy. Okay, I might need some help here. Um, Let's call some pirates. Just to kick his butt. Alien vessel. You have violated the bot facility and will be. What? Will be what? Oh my god. That's a Roth Armada right there. What is happening? And they just left? Where are they going? It's not like the Voth to leave a battle they would have clearly won. Uh, we're receiving a distress call from the Toure homeworld. This is world. a general distress signal for any ships in range. This is the Toure homeworld. We are under attack by an unknown force of immense power. We require immediate assistance. Immediate, he says. The Tere are a spacefaring culture that Voyager encountered in 2376. They claim ownership over the underspace, which are corridors through subspace that significantly shorten travel times here in the Delta Quadrant. Command has been attempting to contact them without success. Access to the underspace would be a distinct advantage for our fleets. That is one right. possibility. To my knowledge, the Voth and Tere are not enemies. However, there is still much we do not know about the Delta Quadrant. Uh, perhaps to show good faith would be in order. This battle will be glorious. It will show the true railroad with the Allies. All right, let's go to that one. Let's go to two race space. We have 
arrived in the Tray system. The Voth ships are in combat, but they. Oh, beautiful village. Hey, they destroyed the Voth. Is this one of those Citadel ships? Where were the uh, assailants? Are the technology exponential in the board won't have ships such as these? Program moving to our direction. Unidentified frigate destroyed like a bunch of. Uh, what is that? Warning! Ship is under attack. Hey! 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 Why are you, you killing me? Something something exploded right there. Uh, uh, mines. Mines are a killer. Do I have to kill this thing or what? Defeat the incoming attack group. Ship is under attack. Hey, uh, pets, you guys should help me out here. I'm not really maneuverable that much. Where's my basic moves? Ah, kill this thing! Kill this thing! That's a bo uh, See again mines. Mines are killing me, man. I should be like nowhere near these guys. Which is which is interesting because that's normally how I play. How many times did I die? Like three times in this mission here? Okay, so this guy is deploying mines right here. Uh, right where I am going to like make my turn. And actually I'm deploying mines as well, but my mine mines are not killing this guy here. Uh invasive maneuver, please, because he's gonna kill me. Ah Heal my hull. Should have just minded our own business. <laughs> I like that. Right shield failing. Okay, let's help uh, a little bit of uh, Nimbus Pirates coming out here. So he has a little bit more. Oh, oh, mine, mine, mine. I'm gonna come here. Ah, got him. Got him. <laughs> Got him. The Voth and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. All right, hear it. Your defense of the Tere thieves will be your undoing. The Tere and Voth have a long standing allegiance. The Tere's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the quadrant. Exothermic nature? What does that mean? Then you will be loyal to the death. The surface of the Terray homeworld is being devastated by the debris from the Voth vessels. The Terray do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them, but the control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a secondary command center on the outskirts of one of their major settlements. If we transport directly there, we will be able to restore the control network. 
ground combat. That's always good. I think. Have I... Uh, do we ever do something with the ground combat build of this character? I don't know. Uh, I might get like a disconnect here. That's why I'm pushing it back a little bit. And let's see. Did you guys do the first contact uh, missions? First contact day missions? The invaders attacked this facility, oh, but they did not do mission. significant structural damage. They yeah. were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. This is nice. I that like this The defense mission. grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces will burn up in the atmosphere, and your ship's weapons can deal with some others. But a significant percentage will get through. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread devastation. I don't know if my current build is good to have this, because... You are going to be needing a lot of like kind of like hold the, the hold the fort or hold the gate or, or whatever it's called. Um kind of type gameplay, right? No. There was a firefight here. One of the terrain is injured, but his condition is stable. He may Which be one? able to give here? us more information about the invaders. Alright. Let's help him out. I'm healing him now? Okay. Thank you. My name is Bellis. You're from the Romulan Republic, right? Yes. The ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close for our defense grid to stop the launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls, and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit a distress signal. Okay. Who are the attackers going to identify ships? The attackers were Vardwar. Yes. Voyager did indeed interact with one of our corridors, but instead of deleting the info as we requested and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy. All of this destruction, every death, it's all Voyager's fault. Impossible. It cannot be the Vardwar. I... I would know. Uh, the Vodwar are an important completing our mission here is... Um, have you confronted the Vodwar previously? Seven... Who are the Vodwar? Uh, My analysis is. remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign them to the central tower to re-establish the grid. Yes. Yes. Sounds good. Let's go. I'll go to the central tower and start the initialization sequence. What about these other guys that are just sleeping on the job here? Hey, ma'am, wake up. Look, they're all like, you know, their left hands is down and their right is like on their head. That sounds like a... Uh, hmm. That's not good. Anyway. I blame uh, myself for the Vodwar's return. It was a I door best left unopened. I have this thing. And I have security. Security! Help me out. Uh, you guys. You guys must do a better job. Because you guys are not doing a good job. Good no further to ally ourselves with the Turei to escape hey, the Hey, hey, seven. One of seven speaks. Not all of them. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what is that? Ooh, what is that? Is that a grenade? No. Uh, analyze the analysis note. of this note is complete. Execute the following steps in the correct order. Yes. First, you must reboot the core matrix. Reboot. Next, you must charge the capacitive relay. Charge the capacitive. Finally, relays. you must establish no the satellite uplink. Okay, the satellite uplink. So what do we do? Uh.
reboot. Right? That's what she said. Then... Oh, what did we say? First you would reboot, then charge the capacitors. Charge the capacitors and then satellite uplink. I'm cheating here a little bit, but that's perfectly fine. I think. Connection reestablished. Boom. I did that. I did the whole lightning thingy. See, I kind of love these type of uh, stuff here. I love this type of gameplay. You're kind of like in an abandoned middle of nowhere facility and, and you kind of like need to kill everybody that's in the vicinity because they're bad guys, like bad guys. I my post at the Daystrom Institute to assist the Callisto. Some, uh, I thought the probability of seeing the Bogwalk was statistically insignificant. Kill this thing first and kill the other guy there. Nope, that one is dead. Where is the satellite thingy? Is there no satellite thingy here? No or further hostile beams detected. Yes, good. Anchor drone. Yes. Now, ah, Jesus, the this part is easy. Daniel, hello, hello. We must inform our superiors. I've been doing them the all day long. Threat. Amazing, you are amazing, dude. Um. I have completed my analysis. Complete the following steps in the correct order. Correct order, okay. First, you must access the AI subroutines. AI subroutines. Next, you must charge the capacitive relays. Capacitive relays. Finally, you must align the main relay. Main relay. AI stuff. And then charge. Do some charging. Hello? Charge. And then... Update. Um, come on. Main relay. I've been doing them, I think, two days now. Uplink reinitialized. Yep, I did that. That's the second uh, tower that I did. I've been doing two out of 14. I did it like two days. It's kind of hard because the more that you can do these type of missions, like um, with the character offline or AFK, I should say. Uh, but now you actually need, actually need to do stuff. You really need to, 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 to actively search all of the uh, what is it, engine hole and something with an S. Engine hull. No further hostile beams detected. When we first rescued the Vaudoir, we thought we could be allies. Who is this guy? Anyway, there are three components that you need to grab, or at least from the from the uh, uh, ground portion of that. Let's go because there are like two. And I like doing the ground one more to be honest than the uh, space one. And um, you can't do it AFK, you actually need to start doing the, the mission itself. Or you're going to fail. Seven. No further hostile beams detected. Analysis Help me out complete. Here. Perform these steps in the correct order. First, you must reboot the core reboot. matrix. Next, you must charge the capacitive reboot, relays. Reboot, charge. Finally, you must establish the satellite uplink. Reboot, charge, and then uplink. Reboot, charge, and uplink. Reboot. And then charge, and then uplink. Charge. Uh, charge. Then 
a blink. Defense node online. Yes, yes, yes. Look at the me doing stuff. Worthy of being a captain. This guy is protecting the drone. I thought it was the other way around. I thought the drone is gonna protect the guy. Could be mistaken here. Whoa, Steven, you just beamed out of here the thin air on top of me. You can just ask, you know. Whoa! Kill him! Kill him, Tark! Kill him! Yes! You vaporize them. One? More enemies? No. Well, I mean, my bridge officer can go and fight over there. We just need seven here. Complete these steps in the correct order to initialize and align the node. All right. First, you must launch the startup sequences. Launch the startup. Next, you must update the defense protocols. Update Finally, defense. you must establish the satellite uplink. Satellite uplink. Uh, startup sequence. And then what? To charge, reanalyze. No. Charge. And then something uplink. Uplink something. What? What was it? We just destroyed that thing before it actually came down. <gasps> Complete these steps in the correct order. To it first, you must launch the startup sequence. That's what I did. Next, you must update the defense ah, protocols. Update defense protocols. Finally, you order. must establish the satellite uplink. Okay, satellite uplink. That's the only. Uplink is That's the only option. There we go. I did the thing. Okay, all four nodes are there. Activate. Oh, I can do it from everywhere. Oh, yeah, look at that. This beautiful shield thing. Kind of looks like Atlantis' shield bubble. Uh, but that's where you from. I need assistance at the central tower. Central tower. So, this is the portion that I was talking about that I don't think I'm going to be fully equipped with to hold down this fort here don't know if I'm going to be able to do that your team did an excellent job getting the defense nodes back online and yes. realigned to the central hub here yes. the restart process will that. take some time but the defense grid will be active in about two minutes all right Let's We'd go. be in good shape if the Vardwar hadn't launched more assault pods. No further. These are mobile needed. transporter pads used to bring more troops to the surface rapidly. Uh -huh. I assume they're coming to stop us from restoring the defense grid. Of course they're gonna do that. What do you think? What do you think? Heal soldier. The Dre took control of underspace after the Vardwar were defeated. Clearly the Vardwar object. Hey man, no sleeping on the job here! No further hostile beams detected. What do you mean no further hostile beams? It's right there. <gasps> I just died. What? How did I just die? Oh, oh somebody just evaporated. Vagua reinforcements approaching. I need the card. I need security guys. I need. Some of these pistols. They kind of do a little bit of damage, which is always good. Major, major, major. Choose your words. Choose your words. What is happening? You're scaring me whenever you're saying like that. The Vodwar are relentless. The probability of our survival is slim. Can I not destroy this thing? What? Who killed me from there? 
What? What? Why am I not shooting? Good to see you, good to see you. Major, tomorrow I'm gonna have a um a uh pool leak to him. Ow! Ah! I'm gonna die. I need the heal. Hey, somebody put down a medical card. Kill this thing. A pool tournament, uh, not a tournament, a pool competition. Uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna bring you guys with me if I can. If they're gonna allow me. Forever. I need for five minutes that? and you're doing some things without me. <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this. Something that I've been always wanting to have. Is that is that thing on my side? No. Hey, somebody help me, man! The giant wolf guy over here. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! There's a grenade that's gonna be inbound. All right, let's kill these guys from the back. According to uh, Eden Garrick, that's the safest way. No, I'm uh, I'm doing these missions because this is one of those. Uh, no, it's not a Delta recruit. It's a Romulan. No further hostile beams detected. It is while we. I'm not. It's one of those things that gives you perks. Totally forgot what it's called. Seven of nine. It's a Romulan. Admiral. Some breed. We detected the destruction of the Callisto. What? It was your fault! Your ship invaded the Voth outpost! Yes, you the was in woke there. the Vardwar! Vardwar? Actually, it was Seven that did that! Starfleet seven. intelligence did not consider not them a threat. Seven. We believe their numbers were few and their technology outdated. Then you were wrong! The Vardwar have returned, and no one is safe. I see. Seven, Voyager could use your expertise again. Will you return to the ship? That would be acceptable. Very well. <sighs> we will take the other survivors from the Callisto as well. Thank you. Voyager, two to beam up. Hope you will on the podium and finally win something. <laughs> we are actually doing good, to be honest. Uh, <coughs> we have a good chance to... Because the competition throughout the year, it's almost coming to an end in May. Or at least at the end of May, maybe um, June. I think there's one or two matches that we need to play in June and that's about it. Um, it's coming to an end, so there's only like a couple of, like a handful of matches still, and um, we might actually have a chance to get like a promotion in in uh, in the league. So promotion is currently we we are playing in the third division as they as they <coughs> as it is called, so we can go to a, high, a division higher. And that's going to be the third. Uh, sorry, we're in the third, and that's going to be the second division. And uh, could be interesting because honestly, I'm bored where I am right now. And uh, the level of play is so bad. See, I knew it. I knew it. There's always something. I knew it. Um, but the level of play is not that high in the the the. In the current division, the where, where where I am, and the reason why I say I'm bored is 
they not giving me enough challenges. Thank you for assisting so, Seven. Yeah. Thank you. I really want, you know, a better overall, better higher level of uh, of opponents. So hopefully that's going to be in the second division and uh, hopefully we're going to get there uh, this year. Episodes Delta. Enemies in all of the unusual places. Not all the experiences of the USS Voyager. Oh man. Patrolling missions. Patrolling missions. Kinbar. Patrol the Delta Quadrant mission. Aftermath. Go to the Nasordino system. Where is that? Okay. Apparently, it's there. Ship rotate. My ship is not rotating. I have to fly her there manually. Okay, now it's working. Okay, it's working. <coughs> but, um,. Hopefully it's going to be better next year. Uh, we might travel a little bit uh, further than where we are currently traveling. We'll see. We'll see if we get there. But I hear you guys enjoy those live streams. So we might actually do some uh, some more with them. Weird looking ship. Weird looking shippy. Do you guys want to do a little bit of that new game that I played? I don't know if it's going to hold up to uh, to the stream though. We might actually give it a go if it works. Terra Tech World is it called? It's it's for me it's enjoyable because you have the option to um, rearrange or reconfigure your own ship or um, vessel. It's probably a better description of it because you have like a, a, a building frame and then you can add wheels or you can add rockets, which is also going to give you to uh, going to get you to space or at least uh, get you there. Currently, it's, it's, it's in beta still. Are we there yet or what? Close. Currently, it's in beta, so um, early versions. Uh, they're going to add a new couple of stuff that's going to be interesting, but not right, not really right now. Uh, which is uh, which is a shame because I kind of really, really enjoy that game. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, you guys. Hopefully, the because I did do it the other day, and it was dropping frames like crazy. And it wasn't really, you know, enjoyable. Patrol! Okay, so we're doing two patrol missions now. 
Do you guys remember that Borg ship? This is a critical problem. It seems unlikely that anyone would detect our distress signal, let alone respond to the call. Hostiles dropped out of war but attacked without warning. Their ships were fast and powerful, far beyond our capabilities. They disabled us and left shortly thereafter. Curiously, one of them communicated to us. He said scavengers would come to pick apart our ships. As we are defenseless, that was an unsettling statement. Can you help us? This is Cooperative Cube 1138. We are here to help. We are here to help. Where does that... And this is not even a cube! It's not even a cube. Oh, 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 the vlog. Didn't we just help you guys? Didn't we just help you? You guys are ungrateful. What about the cube? Is the cube doing anything? Who's that? He's just sitting there. Okay, what shall I... Uh... Okay, let's do these guys. I don't think it does... I don't think it matters which one I... Uh... <coughs> I rescue first. Modifier probe to generate damping, you feel the evacuate with a gap in the radio phaser. Okay. A lot of techno mobile jumble right there. Uh you missed. Ah, the Borg has found some assistance. How quaint. How quaint indeed. The bullshit is doing nothing. Look at that, all of my my pets are gone. Alright. Oh what the heck? what what what? Transphasic torpedo solvay two that kicked my butt and then overload two. That was right before I uh, used the fourth uh, power core. But this guy, this guy is actually doing absolutely nothing. After all, it work again. I'm gonna ask my favorite people to help me out. These pirates. Kill that. Kill that. Oh my eyes, my eyes are killing me. He's not doing anything, this guy. Uh, 
I wish these Thank you for coming. Fears. Our situation is quite dire. Life support is failing shipwide, and so is artificial gravity. We're unable to conduct repairs at this time. Can you provide assistance? She looks uh, interesting. Repair a life support with a. Uh, Thank you. With a beam we'll make our way to a range. range to complete repairs. Curse, did you just hear what he said? Techno organic trash. Before your beloved species techno. Man, I wanted to use my engineering skill ability to get more heat points. He called those Borg techno. Organic trash. I think I think you need to teach them a lesson, curse. I think you are I think you need to jump into STO. Take this mission. This patrol mission. <laughs> and show them that it's not techno organic trash. You should have the Alwainia command carrier pits for you for your place now. Honestly, like this build is you are fairly familiar with my playstyle. Not really that good. I do have better guns, better gear and stuff like that, but I just, as they say, I can't be bothered putting everything on. One, two, three, four. Let's go for the same time. We need like better shields and and and. Better weapons, better consoles. Well, consoles not that. <laughs> and also because I'm favoring my uh, hangar pets here with the powers, uh, power tray systems. I have weak shields, weak shields, weak uh, engines, and uh, very weak weapons. So all of my uh, damage should come. From my pets, not from my ship. And then, obviously, no skills, as you guys know. Which is also never a good thing. What happened? Did he just disappear on me? Oh, yeah, he did the switcheroo thing. Target shields have failed. Fire torpedoes. There you go. Fire more torpedoes. Yeah, 
face, just like that. Boom. Yes, one down. How many more to go? Three to go. Yes, 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 yes. Radiation torpedo. What is this guy doing on my butt? You may see the Get out of the air. Get out of my butt. This guy's draining me. Okay, Nimbus, help us out. side darn it okay let's get this one target is not, is not just the their shield Everything else I was It's a good thing that these guys don't have mines, because if they had mines then I would definitely be done. Yep. End of the line. Uh, where are enemies? What time is it now? Oh, nine o'clock. After this mission, guys, hopefully we're going to have a little bit of fun with you. Okay. Rendezvous with the rescue. That was all the way over there. Thank you for your timely assistance. You are most welcome. Now, give me all of your knowledge. Wait a minute, there were two Borg uh, simulators? There is one over here that was actually doing nothing and there is one over here that was also doing nothing. Beam the rescued crew. A large force incoming. Ah, no. Where is that assimilator? Nimbus, you cannot help me. Do it. Oh, my God, this guy is moving. Shields, shields, oh, hey. And shields. Alright, now we can kill them. Let's kill them, let's kill them, let's kill them. Ooh, that torpedo. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, something hurt me. Something hurt me really, really bad. <gasps> 31,000. That's... I can survive 31,000 hit points. I'm detected from my home. Where is that? It's right there. See, I have one of those uh, Borg cubes, as the game called it. <laughs> These uh, Borg assimilators that I honestly have not leveled it 
at all. You have our thanks. Were it not for you and your crew, none of us would have survived. Alrighty. Um, take that. Triple skill bonus. Okay. Depart. Depart. Glitters. Are you familiar with Voyager's emergency? Yes. Set course. Transport. I am familiar. All that glitters. Oh man, I was gonna do the other game. <laughs> anyway. I think I'm going to get a disconnect. There it goes. Clockwork. Make first contact. Make first contact. We have arrived at the Shindak system. The distress signal is coming to transport dead ahead, but we received no transport for no response from our hail. We'll keep trying, but perhaps our guest knows more. Dang, Audi knows this game. Yes, yes, I do. Did you watch Fallout? No, I have um is it any good? No, no, is it any good? Cause I, I, I have it uh on my a bazillion tabs that I have on my Chrome tab. I have it open up because I want to watch it. I heard it's 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 gotten some good reviews. Um, I know that there is a game called Fallout. I haven't played that game to be honest. Not kind of like my cup of tea ish. Um, but I did watch, and oh my god, that there's like two seasons out there. Halo. Guys, if you have nothing to do, watch Halo. Halo is amazing. And, and, and on top of that, on top of that, you gotta play and watch it. Okay, I, I, okay, if it's, if it's, if it's, Obviously, you're kind of enthusiastic about it. So if it's that good, I'm definitely going to going to watch it. Um, but I'm going to give you guys write this down somewhere on your phone. Maybe it's a TV show. I have mixed feelings about this series. I've played all the fallouts mixed feelings about this series. Hmm. Okay, so all of the, the, the reviews that I've seen uh, <coughs> <coughs> tell me it's a very good one. Mm. Riding into my arm right now. <laughs> Major. Ah, you're amazing. Um, okay, write this down. Major, write this down. Three body 
Uh, three body, uh, three body uh, problems. Three body system. Oh, man, I forgot the uh, the rest of it. Uh, three body, three body problem, three body problem. That, yes, net us three body problems. No problem, not not with with s. Three body problem. Honestly, if you like. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much. I really don't want to spoil too much. But if you like science fiction, if you like sci-fi, no, <laughs> no. I think I think Nellas knows about it, and it's based upon books. It's it's based upon books, and the books are, from what I've heard people talking about uh, that have read those books, the books are amazing. Me, not really a book reader kind of guy. I'm more of a TV show watcher. If <laughs> that's a <your> thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. What are these things called books? <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you like science fiction if you like um, I, I honestly don't want to spoil too much Major you really 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 got to got to watch it uh, the first ep eight episodes are out and it's it's so good it is so 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 good honestly i it's 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 not you know it's not it's not star trek but it's close to it it's kind of like um has to do with a lot of sci-fi has to do with a lot of like um Is the same author who wrote the Wandering Earth. Uh, wandering, I don't know what the Wandering Earth is. It's. Are these on Amazon or where? I watch them online through like streaming uh, services. Um, let me let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You probably heard of the um, large. Uh, What's it called? Large Hydron Collider that big circle thing that you know uh, it's 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 a lot of science it's loosely or see, not loosely but it is based upon science real science down to earth science so it is technical it's just go watch it the Wandering Earth is a sci-fi movie in two parts. Wandering Earth. Okay. I might I might give it a go. Wandering Earth. It's based upon real science. Or at least just just watch the trailer or something and see if it's to your liking and then watch maybe one episode or something like that. And and I promise you, I promise you're gonna get hooked on it. Um Large uh, Haldron Collider, uh, based upon science, real science, incorporated in a TV show, not some just mumbo, mumbo jumbo. Obviously, this is going to be a lot of mumbo jumbo and, you know, uh, CGI, computer generated stuff and stuff like that to make it interesting. 
and a um, lot of science fiction. A lot of what you see currently in your in your screen right now. It's, it's, it's kind of fun. What you see right now. Loosely based on on what you guys uh, are seeing in the in the on the screen right now as well. Um, it got me. My brother actually got me hooked on it, and <coughs> I started watching one episode, and I was like, "Okay, okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. This is interesting." And all of a sudden, um, in like two days, because I was also doing other stuff. Uh, I bench watched all of the episodes. So I just sat down there from the beginning, whenever I had time, from the beginning all the way to the end. Eight episodes, I think, that are available right now because they're kind of doing, or at least they have approval for four seasons, I believe. And season one is already out there. You can watch the entire season, eight episodes, I think. And they're going to be like four seasons up there. And I was like, I was like, I was like hooked. I was, I was giving more, giving more, giving more the whole time. Three body problems. Very, very good. And all of the, you know, Rotten Tomatoes, whatever uh, you get your information uh, from, have given these, uh, these TV shows, uh, three body problem, very good rating. All of the critics are, you know, very happy with the way that uh, this TV show is, uh, has, been, has been made. Pleased to meet you. I scanned your service record before your arrival. You've been in quite a few battles, haven't you? Ever stop to think about the strain you're putting on your medical crew before you charge into combat? Of course you don't. No captain ever does. Nice to meet you, Doc. We've been hailing this Ocompen freighter for some time, but we're not getting a response, and our sensors cannot penetrate their shields. Their initial distress signals indicated that they were suffering from Paranisti measles. I can treat it easily, if I can get onto the ship. Now that your ship is here, it should be trivial to board the vessel and assess the situation. Transport me aboard your vessel, and then my shuttle can return to Voyager. All right. Transport the Doc. To your ship. Excellent. Your ship has more powerful sensors than my shuttle. How do you know that? How do you know that my ship has better sensors? How many times do I have to scan this thing? Is this mission broken or something? Okay. I did it like four times. It's not giving me any mission progression. Your ship has more powerful sensors than my shuttle. Warning, ship is under attack. What is up with all the hostilities? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Go, 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 go. Those warp bar torpedoes and whatever. Those things. They are a bit too much power of four of this.
Fire torpedoes! Big ship I got here. Come on, hail the dude, the dude, the dude, the hail, the hail the Greetings. I am Gaul, leader of the Vodwar Supremacy. I apologize for the overzealousness of my soldiers. This action they was not once. authorized. All right. I'm pleased to I'll find you. It, it appears your presence here in the Delta Quadrant has inadvertently caused some conflict between us. Oh. I would rather avoid any more unpleasantness. Would you be willing to meet with me face to face? That is understandable. Do you have a location in mind? There are not many areas of the Delta Quadrant where my people are not reviled. Right. Uh, Hail the Enix Oh, what frequencies. a wonderful surprise! Is there anything I can do for you? Yes, neutral place for diplomacy negotiation with the Vadwar. Diplomatic negotiations? I am Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta All right, good, thank you. Well, Talaxi. I'm contacting the... Ready, let's go. Talaxian. <laughs> this guy's great. Imagine using a medical emergency as a trap. The Vaudoir had no shame. No shame. I don't trust Gaul. He betrayed us on Vaudoir Prime. He'll do it again. I just said you liked them. Where it's good to see you again so soon. Good. I know it's good. I come bearing gifts. Most of you are not going to make it. It's so good to see... Doctor, it's been 30 years! You haven't aged a day! Yes, it's good to see you too, Neelix. Oh my god. We have a bit of time years. before we'll begin. We're giving the Vaudoir a fine Talaxian feast to help ease the tension. Doctor, you must tell me all you've been up to. Oh, Neelix, I couldn't. Not with the Vaudoir here. But I suppose it is important that you hear about my many achievements since our last meeting. Why is that important? And my brilliant research was able to prove conclusively. Thus, I began my grand adventure into the challenge of writing Klingon opera. Oh, well, Brax and I agreed to never mention the incident again. <laughs> well, at least not to Dexa. <laughs> Neelix, the Vardwar have finished the appetizers and are waiting for you. Oh, well... We Who said that? Better get going. We, we can talk more later. Who said that? Do you remember Chef Jolax from the last... So, Nerix was talking to the doctor that whole time. And never once did he, like, talk to me. Until he and... The doctor. Uh, which one is the, the... The ship was somewhere in the... It's not here. Here? Here? No. Tch. 
Here they are. Ah, at last. I must say your Talaxian friends are quite hospitable. But down to business. Our meeting is long overdue. Long overdue. As says. do I. My people are damaged, in crisis. We are already at war with the Kabali, and with you, giving your alliances support for them. Kobali? We already at war with the Kobali. Who, who are the Kobali again? I forgot who the Kobali were. Uh, let's just try to find an accord that benefits both. Do you know why we fight the Kobali? Their world was once a Vadwa colony, one of our largest. I forgot who the Kabali was. There is still a large cache of stasis tubes on the planet. Those are my brothers and sisters being held hostage. The Kabali are stealing them, taking their very identities and transforming them. Oh, the guys that, that grabbed uh, Kim. Okay. The Kabali okay. would rather watch us die okay. and use our corpses as fuel for their unnatural corruption. Is it wrong to fight against your own extinction? Don't we have a right to survive as well? Mm -hmm. There can be no peace. Not after what they've done. Are you suggesting we are weak? That we should just lay down and die for them? No. We will not. Okay. Do not try to pacify me. We will have our retribution. You have my offer. Abandon your alliance with the Kobali and support us, and we will be your strongest ally in the Quadrant. <laughs> Peace. You know nothing of what it means to be Vaudoir. You need to understand. You need to understand. The Vaudoir have endured too much to make peace. Do you expect us to forget the destruction of our cities? The massacres of our people? The food's almost ready. What would you all like for your main course? You. <laughs> you need to understand even the smallest fraction of our anger. <gasps> He's dead. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Does that make you angry, Talaxian? No. It makes me sad. For Jolex. And for you. Then we are not done. <laughs> what the? Huh? Oh no. Dun dun dun. Time only to save one group? I do not envy you. No. Dude, I'm 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 Who to save? Yeah, you don't know. I don't know who to know. Alright, let's choose. Uh, let's make this choice. Can we. 
not send my bridge officers there and like help them? We've okay. saved the hostages, but they may be safer here. Uh -huh. Can I rescue the other guys? No. Did they like kill them? Oh, I can't enter the room. Okay. The hostages remain silent. Hey, hey, shh. What about the people in logistics? Stop talking, stop talking. The people in the logistics are uh, no more there. There are no more telexins there. Only bond wire. Only the bond wire are, are there. These Doctor, guys you have to good. save them. These are my friends. These were your friends. Neelix, they're not their new friends anymore. They are beyond my help now, Neelix. I'm sorry. Yep. I know. Had to be done. Then the game over me. We notice. can still save the others. We have to get to the shuttle in the cargo bay. In the cargo bay, okay. Dun dun dun! Hey, you guys! You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. How much help does this thing have? Okay. Kill him, Targ! Kill him! Uh, okay. These guys are like draining my life over here. What the hell, man? I've sent guys. a signal to the remaining Talaxians to join us here as soon as possible. Join us here, why don't you? More Vodwar on the way! Defend the shuttle! Uh, defend the shuttle. These guys are no good. More on the way. Okay. If I weren't a hologram, I'd be worried. What? Why? Can we can we throw lightning at them? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, uh. A large number of Vodwar are closing in. I'm a afraid large it may number. be too oh, much for you to snap. handle. Okay. Where are they beaming in? The Terray are here to assist. After this, our debt to you is repaid. That does not sound like... That's timely. Here come the Bodwar. Uh, the rift. Oh my god, they just killed the rift. Man. The Vardwar have been repelled. 
I would have words with you before you continue. Our help does not mean we are now allies. We are repaying a debt. Yeah. Our ships are currently engaging the Vadwa fleet. It is unsafe for this shuttle to launch until Vardwar. they are defeated. We will return to our ships. I suggest you do the same. We will... Leave the base. Da -da 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 -da. Neenix, you got some... Uh... You got some cleaning up to do, dude. I knew this meeting was a farce. The word Vodwar means fool in ancient Talaxian. Did you know that? Yes. You I thought me a fool episode. who would swallow your insults without comment. A fool who would blunder into the trap you set with the Torey. This has destroyed any chance of an accord between us. How disappointing. How disappointing. I had thought you would be a valuable ally. Now you are just another victim. <laughs> you are another victim, he said. Oh, 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 go, 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 no, 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 don't go there. Hit him with the green Dorito. Ah, too late. Green Dorito. Boom. Nice. Nice. I like. I like the green Dorito. Hey, wait a minute. I have the Costa Torpedo. Is that? That's probably better than the green Torpedo. Oh no 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 it's gonna hurt that's gonna hurt ow 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes green torpedo Buster torpedo much better Um Let me go out of combat this to uh make those changes so we can make it Can you guys wrap it up for me? You were gonna like repay me, remember when I saved you? You can get out of combat. below 75%. Um, yeah, this one is, what is this? Five? Hell no. Much better. Much, much better. Uh, uh, no, I'm not gonna sort. Re-energize our shields. Go in, guns blazing. You got nothing on me, Mr. Interceptor. Try Cobalt Cluster Torpedo. Oh, he's going after the other guy. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. And... Booyaka, maybe, maybe. It's still going, still going. And... Voyager is here. It did, did, did. Did. You forgot our TFO Friday. Oh no. Uh huh. Friday. It's Saturday today. TFO Friday. Younger, younger. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop. Grace is gonna come here. Uh, uh, uh Genji's gonna come here. Honestly, speak of the devil. Honestly, that guy. Is that guy is like, he's always hiding behind the table. I've seen him once hiding. <laughs> Cluster torpedo, where you at? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Rear shields, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Shields, shields, shields. Andrea! Hello, hello. Nice to see you, man.
How have you been? We're done, right? Hail it should be. You came to our aid when the Vaudoir attacked our home world. Now we have come to assist you. This discharges our obligation. You guys, do you guys know who this uh, voiceover is, right? For this guy, Mr. General Martar himself. How could they do something so horrible? We're no. I'm I don't sorry. You. With your permission, I've been in Gaul. Has since. Bark. Time is it? Ten more minutes. Okay, last, last one that we're gonna that I'm gonna do, guys. Uh, I must choose the reward. Exit. Yeah, episode Delta. No, uh, your enemies. See. Auto travel doesn't work here. Why does it auto travel work here? I wonder. Do I have to do all of these or just one? I really hope I have to do one of them. What are you playing? I am playing something called the Star Trek. something that I've been playing for 14 years now, 13, 14 years, something like that. Crazy amount. But I like it. Alright, patrol this thing. Now they say that these patrol missions are uh, quick. It is good to see you. Good. I know it is very good to see me. Stay out of our way. Huh? We're here for the goods on that ship. I'm caught. You are here. The Hazari claims on the the law is the law. The law is the law. He said. And the law is. Where's the? Who has the biggest guns? Yes. That is the law. What is Star Trek? Star Trek. What is Star Trek? I'm gonna ask. Hmm. Star Trek is a TV show. Where does it start as a TV show? Become very popular. Then they started making movies. Seeing the very big cult, big following, and they made more movies and more movies and made more movies, and then they made another TV show with the bald guy. And they made more movies and more movies, more TV shows. This time with a woman. In charge. And then they made more movies. More movies, more movies. And they were like, if we can have a woman in charge, then we can have a black guy in charge as well. So let's make a TV show with a black guy. <laughs> and then they were like, That woman with a black guy. We got a woman, we got a black guy. Let's make a TV show with a black woman. Let's combine the two. Why not? And they come to their senses and they're like, okay, let's make a TV show with a white elderly gentleman. And then some other movies, and some other movies. 
And here and there, the middle, so game or two. Oh my god, my whole thing is to go is that. Uh, and they made a very, very big. Um, big universe that came out of there. I'm doing the. Uh, why am I here? Why am I at the other end of the this planet? No, I'm doing the missions because I want to complete these um, Delta recruits. Uh, there are a couple of like, you know, great stuff that I still need to complete to unlock everything on my account. And if I do so, um, then every other character on my account is going to have access to the same thing. Which is not a lot, to be honest, but it's a little bit of a uh, boost. A little bit better gear. And you know me here. I really hate unfinished uh, stuff on my account. So I'm kind of trying that out here to, uh, to complete everything so I can, so I can sleep easily. Not having to think like, oh, I need to do that mission again. Uh, to do it again. Uh, so that's going to be, uh, that's going to be cool and interesting. Thank you. More incoming ships. Where are they at? Oh, there go. The Melon. The Malon. Shield have failed. Release me before they uh, spew up that stupid stuff that they spewed. Them. All right, plus the torpedo. Yeah, oh, too late. He dead. Hail the Benjamins. Guys, this is going to be the last mission that I do because it's going to be not going to be as terrible. I don't even know why I'm taking fleet marks, but I'm taking fleet marks. I am taking fleet marks. <clears throat> I don't even know if I'm gonna need them. <gasps> I do have to patrol all of them. Oh man. Alright. Last mission. No more missions after this one. I have one, two. One, two, okay. Nular system. I don't think I've ever been here. Is it a good place? Anyone been to the Nular system recently? No, nobody. Me neither. Hmm, <laughs> 
All right, let's see what can we what can we uh, what can we what can we, what, can we, what can we, what's this? Huh? EMH. We got an EMH. Uh, personal shield generator and what was the other one? Weapon amplifier. Make first contact. Defend the Utopia Planitia in a synthwave. Travel back in time to a one night in Bozeman or build and launch a model rocket. Good to see you. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. I like it. I like it. Short and sweet. Let's get to work. That's all she said. Good to see you. Let's get to work. <laughs> Coming here was foolish. Now suffer the fate of all fools. Four shields failing. You're not the only one that has mines, you know. Right How you like them aspects? Well, dead, so. The ship is disabled. Time to acquire their data. Time to require their data. We have the data. And All right. company. Angry company. Angry company. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. I went to... Uh, this is, this doesn't stop that. How does that work? How does that work, I tell you? Or I ask you. Do you know what? Should I go... Fire? Then I've got to get even more uh, like that. That was Take that. Boom. Oh, There's the other one there. Nope. That's the, that's the anchor. That's the cruiser. The cruiser's dead. See, you guys don't need my help. You guys are uh... the legendary Vodwar paranoia. Yep, Init that's what it said. Legendary Vodwar paranoia. Go there. Actually, I like this uh, the Vodwar uh, arc. They do a lot of like ground combat, so. I think Ronco would is good. I'm doing Givinci maneuvers. <sighs> this thing, this thing. Track fire. Why not? I can do the other thing, and the other thing is not helping us. Out. Torpedo at the back. Fire. Right shield failing. Excellent work. Let's see what's in this ship's database.
Another successful day of ah. Kind of like uh, scavengers right now. We're hunting for data. Another android, I say. Could you guys that are helping me? Thank you. Just about to say, could you guys come over Fire here? Fire torpedoes! This should be the last Ooh. ship we need to scan. Good, 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 good. good. Destroy them! Open no! Fire. No destroying! There is no need for destruction. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, so and I just called in my Nimbus friends, my Nimbus pirates. Oh! What is that? That's like the fourth time that I've been dead in this particular mission, and like the seventeenth time in the overall in live stream. Jesus. Target's shield have failed. Artillery annihilator. We don't tolerate your kind. You pay for being here with your lives. Your shield failed. Stupid structure to Oh oh I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I died. I died. Huh? Is that it? What? No. This 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 thing that's gonna go berserk right there. That's the one that you need to kill this time. A heavy artillery. Okay, it's dead. Everybody dead? Yes. Why are you afraid not? What is this? Get out of here. Okay. No time for formalities. A large Vodwar strike force is en route no. to this position at High Warp. I doubt they're coming to exchange pleasantries. Expect it. Your time has passed. The Delta Quadrant is ours. <gasps> that heals me? Oh my god. Why did I know? I utilize that a bit. Get this guy. Stupid killing guys. Metro. Hello, 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 hello. How's it going, my man? Why is your Saturday night going? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Did it do anything? I, I don't know. It got me killed. That's what it did.
this guy, this guy, I hate this shit. Artillery vessels. Let's do what must be done here. Go, 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 go. What's going on? I hate evasive maneuvers. Somebody was holding you with track to me, and you all got like those spherical ball thing is. I need like a death counter. Honestly, I need like a death count. What is this? What are these things that are coming towards me? Dead again? Oh my god! Like, how many of those abilities these guys have? They don't go in cooldown? If that's the case, I call that cheating. Somebody hit you with lightning. Lightning with a lightning bolt. There was Zeus. Now then, let's discuss what's going on here. Yes. Judging by the company you're keeping, I guess it involves some unorthodox operations. Huh? What mischief has Subcommander Sahen dragged you into? And how can I extract you from it? Mm. Ah, Commander Jirak. So glad you could join our little fishing trip today. <laughs> our mischief is an operation aimed at discovering the location of a hidden Vodwar base. It's down there. We were hoping to glean mm -hmm. that data from one of the Vodwar ships we lured here. But, as you can see, they were quite indisposed. Permanently so, in point mm -hmm. of fact. Uh, we're now under search down to two systems. I see. Vodwar activity in this region is a growing concern. Finding this base is a worthy objective. How can I be of assistance? Join the search if one of the locations was discovered. Very well. We'll set course for the first location on your list. All right. Good hunting. Don't mind, command. Yes. I'll take... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oak. And Don't mind, command. Yes. I'll take all the luck. Okay. I missed the notification. I blame my cousin was taking, was talking to him on Discord. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I think it. I think I started at th uh, seven. What what time is it now? Exactly three hours and one minute and fifteen seconds that I've been streaming. Oh, my nose is itching. John, hello, hello, dude. Hello, hello, hello. John, how are you, man? Man, you came. I don't want to say at the wrong time, but I really need to go. How's it going? It's 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 good. It's good. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking, man. It's it's um, been been sick for the last three uh, three uh, three weeks or so. Two weeks, three weeks. Um, it's it's going around honestly, and um, I feel bad because I kind of infected my mom with it, so now she is sick. And uh, she's having a little bit more harder time uh, getting over it than I am. 
but uh, I'm still sick. There's like, you know, there is like most, something on my throat at the back of the throat is like, um, it's like dried out or, or it's kind of like, you know, not moist, but it's kind of like itchy on the, on the backside. It's, it's kind of like a flu, I think, but it's been going on for like, you know, two weeks, two weeks, three weeks ish. It's not, uh, it's as good as going again. <laughs> yeah. What? No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Um, she's getting better. She's getting better. No, nothing, uh, nothing wrong with that. She's going, she's getting over it, but, uh. Any meds? Uh, no, because it's just it's it's just the flu or at least flu-like. Um, it's it's not COVID or Corona or anything like that. So it's uh, it's just the flu, and it's. Um, I heard a lot of people are are, are having it. Uh, the, another uh, guy over here on on uh, on the channel uh, had the same thing. Major Kali. I don't know if you've uh, ever heard of him, but. Uh, he had it throughout, uh, did he said December throughout January, so he had it like much, much longer than I did. Uh, but a lot of uh, people, even even people here in at uh, where I live in, in the, 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 the big apartment, uh, I hear people coughing over there, I have people coughing over there, so it's like, it's... Does that stuff still can take a toll on you? Yes, yes, I can see it with my mom, she's like really drained out. Uh, and uh, even the, either the doctors, because she called for the doctors and, and they're like, yeah, you just need to go through it. There is nothing that we can give you. Like, you know, we can give you antibiotics and stuff like that, but it's like, it, it's not going to help with that. So that clump of throat that you can't cough up. Nice feeling. Exactly, Metro. Exactly. Exactly. And um, it makes you... Um, it makes you a little bit like irritable and because it's not just that but also uh, when you're trying to sleep at night and then you get like this this dried up throat then you kind of like take a little bit of like water but then if you take water then you're kind of like out of your uh rem cycle uh so you kind of need to you know s s start sleeping again and you're just out of your rhythm and then things are not going good <laughs> Please let know we're praying for. Oh, thank you so much, John. Thank you so much. How is stuff with you, man? How is stuff with you? I see a lot of pictures and stuff on uh, on Facebook coming by. Definitely, uh, definitely enjoying uh, life as it were. I see you and the girls and also the 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 misses having fun. That's 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 always nice. Doing good, kids and wife are great. Nice, nice. Come on, hello, dude. When I get a call, they make chicken soup with a bit of onion in it. Yeah, uh, I've been doing that chicken soup and lots of ginger, um, you know, um, orange juice, uh, lots of like, you know, orange juice, the, 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 the orange itself, just eating that, not, you know, not peeling it or. Well, peeling it but not like you know squishing it for the for the juices uh lots of vitamin c so that's <laughs> lots of rum <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah no <laughs> yeah no uh alcohol is actually it's actually bad for you i mean you are um when you're sick because it kind of lowers your um um your internal resistance but um It's it's good. It's good. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy, man. I'm seeing a lot of a uh, lot of pictures where you're uh, where you're smiling. So that's uh, that's good. A glass of vodka and it goes away. I wish. I wish. No. No. It just it just needs to go. It's uh, good to see you streaming. Yeah. Yeah. I've been um, maybe like a month or so that I haven't been uh, streaming, but I'm gonna stream tomorrow. I am gonna to stream tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, or at least I hope. Um, so I'm gonna have a competition match tomorrow, a league match, and I hope I'm hoping that the location is gonna be okay with me live streaming the matches and stuff like that. So uh, I'm hoping it's. Um, 
yeah, he's going to be good there. Um, that they're not going to have, like, you know, issues with it. And, um, you know, it's good, man. It's good. It's nice. Definitely nice to see you. And, and I saw Matt a couple of times in the, in the chat as well. Um, but it sucks when, uh, and it sucks when it comes to the uh, time difference. Cause right now, um, I'm kind of have like, you know, a conversation with my neighbor, not to stream or at least not to be loud anymore, uh, past 10 o'clock. And it's kind of like 10, 19 right now. Um, so I can't do that anymore because he has like, you know, little kids. He has like, I think one of, one of them is five, one of them is four. And there's another one that's like a couple of months old or so. So it's, it's hard to game with you like the old days. I miss the old days. I honestly miss the old days, but, um, we're getting old, man. Look at me. I'm like, you know grayed out here anymore can't can't do the you know the two hour three hour four hour a.m uh stuff that we uh normally uh used to do can't do that anymore <laughs> grandpa needs to sleep <laughs> yeah the beard is uh the beard is no yeah I know the feeling, getting 30 these years, oh, oh, he's getting 30, remember the 30s? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, the 30s, it's a while back. <laughs> You'll be 50 in January, wow, you're actually older than I am, okay, didn't know that. I started to get a little bit of gray in my beard too this year. It comes, man, it comes. I'm I'm kind of happy that it's like on my beard and it's not on my hair. My hair is still, you know, it's original color, but it has like, you know, one or two of those uh, strains of hair that has, that's gone gray, but I'm happy up here it's still, you know, normal color. <laughs> I remember when I got 21 and I started living on my own. Yep. Yep, freedom, right? Freedom. You're 45. Okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. Tubes is gonna be 50. The big five. Oh man, Jesus. Wow. Yep. Life goes very fast. I can, I can vouch for that. Goes fast. Jeepers now. Yep, yep, yep. It's uh. Blink and you're like, you know, you start in diapers and you're going to end up in diapers all of a sudden. <laughs> the last five years has gone really fast. Yep. Yep. I, I, I know, I know. Sometimes I think like, you know, what is happening? What did I do today? Right. And you think about it like, eh, maybe watch a TV show, maybe watch YouTube a little bit, walk my dog. Ate, ate some breakfast or lunch, dinner, whatever. It's time to walk my dog again. And then, huh? Huh? It's 12 o'clock? Huh? Where did the time go? It's been five years. Wow. Yeah. See how fast that goes, John? I still remember. I still remember. Wow, that's... That's... That's crazy. Goes really fast. Amazing is 53. Wow. We got some old people in the chat. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's it's nice. It's it's normally it's just like you know like you young people over here, the younger generation. I like it though. I like it. We got a little bit of a of a 
of a great community. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. As long as everybody's having fun, that's as long as everybody is doing what they want to do and and not having regrets in life, right? That's the most uh the OG gamers right here. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it started to become elderly home. <laughs> Fun is what counts. Exactly, John. Exactly. John, we uh you hit the nail right on the head right there. It's uh fun and enjoyment as you know, as long as it can. Cause when we're talking about it, life is short. Life is definitely short. And if you can't have fun, then kind of like what's the point, right? What are we doing it for? Why are we working eight hours a day if we can have fun? If we can't have that, what we want to have, right? <sighs> John, I would love to talk to you some more, man. I really do. But honestly, I need to say goodbye to to everybody for today. Um, I know tomorrow is going to be very early for you guys, so I don't expect you guys to... Uh, for uh to to watch but metro is probably going to be there curse is probably going to be there it's going to start i think it's going to i think we're going to start at 12 o'clock so maybe in in like a like couple of hours yes 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 thank you metro it's uh it's good it's good what are you going to do so I talked about it in the stream. I have these. Um, it's a. I have a box. <laughs> okay, real quick. So I have this. Um, these are two of the DJI uh, microphones that you can put up on your on your can you, on your subject. Let's 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 call it that. Um, because these are for interviewing purposes or from generally just recording on a microphone. Wireless mics, exactly, yes. So these are very good when you want to interview a, you know, a person for whatever topic or you want to have a nice uh, sound when you're vlogging. Perfect thing to, to, to have. Um, and I bought these a while back, uh, but then I never used them. And the other day when I was live streaming the, um, from the pool hall, I was having the camera in, in, you know, one position. And when I was playing, I was playing a kind of like the other side of the pool hall, right? So you couldn't really hear or, you know, you couldn't really communicate with me. So when I opened the, or at least when I bought these, these are two microphones, but there is also a microphone transmitter. And this transmitter, you can see over here, there it has like a little bit of a dongle, a connection. It's a USB-C connection <coughs> that uh, you can... You can hot swap. It's kind of like a hot swap shoe thingy. Yeah. So you can remove this and you can put this uh, transmitter, the microphone and the receiver. You can actually link these things up with your smartphone. So I was doing, th I was thinking about it because tomorrow I'm going to test it out if it works or not. So I'm going to place the camera somewhere like I'm doing with with you guys. And what I'm going to play, I'm going to put the microphone on me.